Shemot chapter 24. And to Moshe he said, Come up to Yahweh, you and Aharon, Nadav and Avihu, and seventy of the elders of Yisrael, and you shall bow yourselves from a distance. But Moshe shall draw near to Yahweh by himself, and let them not draw near, nor let the people go up with him. And Moshe came and related to the people all the words of Yahweh, and all the right rulings. And all the people answered with one voice, and said, All the words which Yahweh has spoken we shall do. And Moshe wrote down all the words of Yahweh, and rose up early in the morning, and built a slaughter place at the foot of the mountain, and twelve standing columns for the twelve tribes of Yisrael. And he sent young men of the children of Yisrael, and they offered ascending offerings, and slaughtered slaughterings of peace offerings to Yahweh of bulls. And Moshe took half the blood and put it in basins, and half the blood he sprinkled on the slaughter place. And he took the book of the covenant, and read in the hearing of the people, and they said, All that Yahweh has spoken we shall do, and obey. And Moshe took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, and said, See, the blood of the covenant which Yahweh has made with you concerning all these words. And Moshe went up, also Aharon, Nadav, and Avihu, and seventy of the elders of Yisrael. And they saw the Elohim of Yisrael, and under his feet like a paved work of sapphire stone, and like the heavens for brightness. Yet he did not stretch out his hand against the chiefs of the children of Yisrael. And they saw Elohim, and they ate and drank. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Come up to me on the mountain, and be there, while I give you tablets of stone, and the Torah and the command which I have written, to teach them. And Moshe arose with his assistant Yehoshua, and Moshe went up to the mountain of Elohim. And he said to the elders, Wait here for us until we come back to you, and see, Aharon and Hur are with you. Whoever has matters, let him go to them. And Moshe went up into the mountain, and a cloud covered the mountain. And the esteem of Yahweh dwelt on Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it for six days. And on the seventh day he called to Moshe out of the midst of the cloud. And the appearance of the esteem of Yahweh was like a consuming fire on the top of the mountain, before the eyes of the children of Yisrael. And Moshe went into the midst of the cloud, and went up into the mountain. And it came to be that Moshe was on the mountain forty days and forty nights.